In this video, what I want to do is show you how to use OneNote templates as a really fantastic time saver. I think that as teachers, uh, these templates really can make a massive difference to what we can achieve in class by making things a bit faster for us and reducing that thinking time that we have when we're trying to prepare things really quickly on the fly by having a bank of things already there. So without further ado, let's show you how to do that. So here I am in OneNote and you can see I have a section for my templates and within my templates I've made quite a few down here, a graph paper, a Cartesian plane, a periodic table of elements, a world map and some note taking templates as well. But what I want to do today is show you how to make a new template and then how to apply that as a template. So I'm going to start by adding a blank page and you can see that I always start with a grid background. Uh, that's my preference and I won't get rid of that until the end. The next thing that I want to do is just um, select where I want my image to go as the background and I've found that PNG files are the best because they've got a nice small file size without too much of a loss of quality. It's also really handy that OneNote's able to make these quite easily but we're not going to make a file today we're just going to use an existing one. So now all I do is I go to my insert menu and I'm going to choose to insert an image. So I'm going to go to my pictures and I've already saved this from the web. I just went and found some music notation paper on the web, uh, which is here, and I'm going to insert that image. Now you'll notice that it's quite small. So I'm going to now increase the size of it. So I've gone to full screen mode and now I'm just going to select on my image and now I'm going to drag the corner. So I like to do this from the bottom just because it's going to make it easier for me to make sure that it goes out to the width I want. And you'll notice that in full screen mode, I'm just going to make it drag out until it's gone to what I consider to be the right uh, size, which is the width of the screen. And you can see there that's going to be quite usable. I'm just going to scroll back up to the top of the document now. And you'll notice now if I right click on this image, I, there is no option for me to send it to the background. It's because when OneNote inserts the uh, images into a file, it inserts it inside a table cell. You can see the table cell here, the gray boundary around the edge. To make it so I can set uh, this image as a background file, I'm going to cut that by pressing Control X or I can right click and choose the cut option. And you notice now I've just got the cursor. Now when I paste using Control V, you'll notice the image comes back and it doesn't seem like much has happened. But in reality, you'll notice that there is no longer that bounding table cell. Now when I right click on the menu, there's an option now to set this as the background. This is really important because then when I'm writing over the top of this, I won't accidentally select my image. The final thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click, um, sorry, the final thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back to uh, my normal view mode and I'm going to choose from the view menu the rule lines and I'm going to turn off the rule lines. Now you can see, if I turn them off correctly, now you can see I've got uh, my nice music notation paper. It all blends in nicely with the background. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, funnily enough, I'm going to call this music paper. And now you can see over the side here, I can just drag that up and you can see I've got quite a series now I'm building of these background templates. The final piece is that we need to be able to turn that into a template that can be used. So the way we do that is on the, while we've got it selected, I'm just going to go up to my view menu. Um, sorry, no, I'm going to go to my insert menu and there's an option here which is page templates. When I click on that, you'll notice down over the right hand side, the whole templates menu opens up. And down the bottom, there's an option which says save current page, page as a template. If I click on that option now, you can give it a name. I'm going to call this music paper. Very imaginative, I know. There's an option that I could make it a default template. Given this is in my templates folder, I'm not going to do that and hit save. Now you'll notice nothing much seems to have happened. But if I go up to my templates page, now you'll notice there's some music paper. So if I go and just make a new section now, I can actually now insert any of my templates just with a click of a button and you'll notice that it starts straight off and that's ready to use. So there you go. 
OneNote templates, a really fantastic time saver. Hopefully you can go out and make your own now.